Hey guys, thanks for joining me on my latest deer hunting adventure. Now on today's video, I'll be taking my buddy the White Tiger on his first big game hunt in public land. Now we've been planning this hunt for about a year now and the White Tiger's been doing all the work a good hunter should be doing. He's been uh, preparing physically, um, he's been spending a lot of time at the, at, uh, at the shooting range. Um, he feels comfortable out to about 400 yards. Um, we've also been spending some time out in the mountains uh, pre-season scouting out the area and we did pick out this little buck for him that if he gets the opportunity, which you'll see, he will pull the trigger on him. Now I know a lot of us hunters uh, go for big mature animals, big mature bucks, uh, big elk, but in this case, my buddy and I, we, we had a, a good discussion and he chose to go for a smaller buck. Um, one, he is an out-of-stater, so he has limited time um, on, on this hunt. And then two, he knows that a younger buck uh, will be providing better meat and he's looking forward to, to eating this, this animal with, uh, with his family. And with that introduction, let's get to it. Oh yeah, people. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. What's the time on the clock? 2.49 a.m. It is the second day of opening season and we're headed out. We're gonna go execute on our plan. Oh yeah. So I got a tag. It's gonna be my first mule deer, my first muley. And uh, Andy's got a tag as well. So the plan is to go up, uh, park at the spot that we've already scouted, use the ATV to take ourselves most of the way in, hike the rest of the way, and uh, get up to our spot before the animals start moving. And uh, hopefully today this will be it, at least for one of us. It's what we're hoping. <laughs> yeah. So stay tuned, there's more to come. Just left the house. And uh, I don't know how we're gonna do it because both of us are operating on like three or four hours of sleep. But uh, you know, this is what it is, uh, baby. All right, here we are on the ATV trail, making our way to the spot where we're gonna hike from. spotted the buck that we found when we scouted earlier this year. He's a small two by three. Um, he's about 400 yards out. We're gonna try to get closer and try to put a stock on him. Let's go. There, that one pulling this tiny edge. Okay, 
200 yards. Where? Right in front of us. 200 yards right there. The buck's the last one, I think. update um we crept up to that little herd um they were feeding we were probably about 80 yards from them had no idea we were there as uh tiger got ready to set up to shoot they spotted us they didn't jump out of the way they just kind of started walking out um we tried following them we had a couple other opportunities but they were just moving. We couldn't get them to stop. Uh, we followed their tracks for a good hour, two hours, uh, seeing if we could run back into them. But no, we weren't able to. So we're just here on a bowl, probably about where the last set of tracks were. And uh, we'll just kind of spend the afternoon here uh, and glass in, and see what else we could turn up. So. Well, what happened? Update number two, um, I went scouting up ahead and I was able to find the buck again. Um, so probably spotted um, probably about 400 yards from where I'm at. And from where I spotted him, he was 320. So waiting for him to come on over and uh, see if we can seal the deal. So uh, round two on this bad boy. Oh and uh, found some pretty cool stuff. Pretty bad shed. And five arrows. <laughs> awesome.
she's walking and the buck is right behind her they're gonna cross into the opening right now now that's her wait he's gonna come out he's right behind her wait for it there's a little fawn that's the little fawn there's the buck Now. Got him. Got him. Oh. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. over and he spotted him so we regrouped <clears throat> we came to the spot where he spotted them we set up and we were just watching and just watching we saw one of the does pop out so let us know they were still here and we were just sitting here waiting and Peppy spotted the herd again probably a hundred yards 100, 144 yards in front of us and uh, man I was sitting on the scope which I felt like forever <laughs> so uncomfortable but i kept holding holding we were watching them watching them and then they came right into this opening right here and uh there was a little fawn i guess right in front of the, the buck and i didn't want to hesitate so as soon as he moved i knew the crosshairs were right in the spot and i just pulled the trigger and watched him fall back and kept glassing haven't seen any movement so who knows? Hopefully, hopefully he's he's down. So <sighs> it's crazy, man. The sound of the gun just is amazing. So the anyway, sound of the thud. The, yeah, you heard it right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, it's 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 been a rough day so far. We're 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 operating on like three to four hours of sleep. We're so, but hey, we're here. It's happening. It's snowing on us. So. Just grateful to be out here. Oh yeah, buddy. Wow. Very grateful. Very grateful. What's that? Springfield 2020 waypoint came through with that uh, night force. Ooh. What you shooting? Shooting 6.5 Creedmoor. Got some Winchester uh, Expedition Big Game. That Acubon. <laughs> All right, so when we spotted him back there, you can see the pine tree right there. And kind of towards the bottom, there's two branches that got a pretty good wide space. We watched Doe come through first. Once he got here, he was standing right about right here. He's probably right here like this. And I was waiting for the fawn to clear so I could get the shot. 144 yards and I knew I hit him because when I pulled the trigger I heard the shot the thud and then I actually saw him buck back and rear back right where he landed one shot that was it he was clean and done you can even see some of the lung blow out here Yes. 
Yes. Look at those. My first one, not a monster buck, but definitely good enough. And you know, again, my first one. So, okay, well here it is. A big body two by three, pretty big body. Now I regret not filming um, us processing the animal and packing out, uh, but let me tell you guys, as soon as that buck was down, we got into a snow blizzard. So, and the sun was going down, so we had to process the animal and pack out. We had, I don't know, about four miles uh, of hiking out of the mountains. Um, we were bushwhacking in this snowstorm. Um, we were hiking out in the middle of the night. Uh, we got turned around quite a few times in there. I really wish we could have filmed it so you guys could have joined us and see, you know, what it took to get out of there. Um, sadly, I didn't. Our priority was to get out of the mountains as quick as possible. We were freezing. Um, but take a look at uh, when we got back to our vehicle, take a look at how much snow um, we had gotten into. All right, finally made it back to the ATV. Oh, it's about 1240 in the morning, covered in snow, wet. That's how it goes though. Awesome day today. Now footage cannot justify how much snow and what we had to go through. Easily we had about a foot of snow that night. Uh, we were exhausted, but it was it was fun. We were running on adrenaline. Um, what an epic hunt for for Tiger and for myself, uh, guys. I I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please consider liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching.